And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time password crack four. Description, can you crack the password to get the flag? Download the password checker here and you'll need the encrypted flag and the hash in the same directory too. There are 100 potential passwords with only one being correct. You can find these by examining the password checker script. I'll go ahead and I'll download all of these. And I have VS Code already open in the background. I'm going to collapse functions just because we won't necessarily need to understand all of them. This is very similar to password crack three, which I would recommend if you haven't seen, give that a quick look because I'm not going to explain everything to the same level of detail. Things are incredibly similar in that we're again, we're taking input here from the user and then we're hashing it and we're comparing it to some correct password hash. And then if we get it correct, we'll use that password to decrypt and we'll print out that value. So what I think they were trying to do was in the prior password crack three, they only had seven possibilities. So it was still possible for you to go through it manually and submit each one. Now you definitely have to do this programmatically but that's no problem. We already did it the correct way last time. I shouldn't say the correct way, uh, the best way. So we will again loop over our possible password list and we'll call this function passing the password. And what we want to do is we want to pass it in as user pass, user w so that we no longer need to prompt so what this is going to do is we'll run through each one of them we will print if we hit the flag otherwise we'll print that password is incorrect we're going to see this is going to be a pain but let's let's run it first and let's let's see we won't even debug just because we've already done this before and we can see we get a lot of output. Not so much that we couldn't actually do this and, and just scroll through it, but you know you can imagine if there were thousands or tens of thousands of lines, we wouldn't want to have this print statement. So let's go ahead and let's remove that print statement just to simulate a more complicated example. Sorry, I should have cleared this. Now I'll run it just so it's really obvious. And what you can see is rather than getting all that spam, we just get the flag. Let's go ahead and let's submit this. And again, what's really cool about this series of challenges that we're going through is this is really how you attack real world passwords and how they're stored. They're stored in hashes. It's difficult to figure out what a hash's underlying password is without going through it in kind of a, a brute force fashion or dictionary attack fashion. And so you really do in the real world loop over different possible values until you find one that matches great stuff. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.